That was a joke. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. This uh, just briefly to address the elephant in the stream. Um, there's an ongoing criminal case with me, uh, as has been released in some ways. Uh, there's another ongoing matter that runs parallel to that. Uh, it involves my family, and people are very, very eager and keen to have a bunch of details about my children, which, um, you know, I, I guess if that's what they want to do, that's, uh, that's what they're going to do. People are saying that I'm making statements like this as some sort of conspiracy uh, sort of accusation or saying that there is some sort of... Um, plot against me or whatever. I mean, I have no f idea. I haven't ever claimed that. Other people have suggested like that. Go talk to them about those theories. As for me and my claims, they're very, very simple. And so I can clear up some common misconceptions here right now. Anyone who suggests that I ever, ever have refused an ordered drug test from the government is incorrect. I've complied with every ordered drug test from the government. And yes, that means I have actually taken drug tests and submitted them to the government. I know it's wild to consider, but that has happened. Uh, so any reports that I'm not doing that are flat out false. I don't care what insider sources people have. I don't care what uh, other suggestions there are, but any suggestion that I am not doing that, like, I'm adamantly refusing a court-ordered drug test are completely incorrect. Shockingly, they're all clean. I know it's really hard to believe, but they're all clean. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to say it any other way, but the government has a problem in my case, and that is that they cannot show any evidence of drug use. The next criminal hearing that I have is on August 21st. This is public information. It's pretty easy to find. That August 21st hearing is called a contested omnibus, and that is a Rule 11 hearing in Minnesota, which means it is your chance to bring any dispositive pretrial motions. Dispositive pretrial motions means the resolution of the motion could resolve the entire case. That would be dispositive, right? So if you have a motion to dismiss, for example, and you win the motion to dismiss, the case would be over. That would be a dispositive motion. That's the limit for them outside of very, very limited other circumstances. That will be on August 21st. Most people's questions about my criminal case, questions that they have for me, uh, what are you going to do about this? What about this? What about this? Those things will be addressed largely at that hearing. That's what it's for. We will be filing paperwork ahead of that hearing if there's anything that needs to be addressed. And if it is not resolved at that hearing, it will go on to be calendared for trial. When will that be? I have no idea. That's on the court. Any suggestion that I refused a drug test is erroneous. I was not required to take any drug test by the government up until a certain point. Once that was ordered, which I believe was on June 7th, I've complied with all of them. The government had no right to ask me or demand me or order me to take a drug test prior to that. And I did not refuse to take anything that they requested. So that being said, I hope that clears that up. I know it won't. If I can correct small mistakes, made by government or omissions, whether malicious or uh, incidental is irrelevant to me. If I can correct those things for you guys, I will. If I can't, look, I'm just not going to answer that question. And that's part of it too. And here's what I know about that. And this is my last bit of blabbering about it before we start getting into some topical choice uh, topics of choice tonight is, is this. I 100% realize that court and the court of public opinion are completely different. And I 100% realize that people will judge me absent any of the rules or restrictions that are imposed on government. If I don't say something, 
the public will make a judgment about that. And the consequence is that I have to just deal with it. You're not going to catch me complaining too much. Now, if people have basic reading issues, I may try and correct them. Or people have basic legal misunderstandings, I may try and correct them. Here's a friendly one to whoever runs the Gunt News Network. You said in your tweet about the order that was uh, released the other day that neither I nor my wife intervened on behalf of our children. There's a very simple reason why. An intervener is a non-party to the suit who would then step in the place of a party to take over the suit if they had some sort of interest. Taking it out of the context of my case, and I said this earlier on Locals, if you're watching on Locals, I'm sorry, you're probably bored with this. Taking it out of the context of my case and putting it in the context of, say, an election fraud lawsuit like we saw in 2020. You may have a statute which requires a secretary of state to bring suit against the state government uh, or the state board of elections if there's some sort of uh, maybe very close result that will trigger a mandatory runoff that may require legal action from one party. Now, let's say that a Democrat Secretary of State is required by law to bring suit against a candidate who just won the Democratic election in a state, or I guess against the Elections Commission for a candidate of their same party. The presumption would be they may not go on uh, against their own party very hard. So what you'll often find in that case is the opposing party or the opposing party candidate would intervene in the lawsuit and they would then make sure that the lawsuit is pursued vigorously. Or for example, if a secretary of state is sued about maybe uh, a gun policy, a highly volatile or controversial issue, you may have a gun rights activist group take over in that lawsuit because that might be a more vigorous defense or offense in the suit. That's an intervener. So if you say that we have not intervened on behalf of our children, that would be, I guess, technically correct, but that's only because we cannot intervene. We are already parties to that suit. So just a minor correction of a legal misunderstanding, things like that I can talk about and uh, I, can, I can try and clear up and provide a little bit of an educational aspect to them. Uh, going beyond that, obviously, I'm not going to talk legal strategy. I can't talk about various um, disagreements I may have with things that are uh, that are presented as fact, but those will be addressed in the courtroom or in motion practice, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.